good afternoon tarot souls and i'm giselle and my channel is mad Witch. and i'm snuck in the corner here today because it's wet and cold outside february the end of was warm and almost well it was a bit balmy wasn't it and then it went cold and wet and miserable today so i decided to tuck myself away so how are you all doing i've come on to do a few bits and bobs and a book, couple of book reviews, um, some bits on crystals and some bits on tarot and uh, hopefully I won't, it won't be too long. I've actually got myself one of my husband's gingerbread lattes. <laughs> Don't tell him because <laughs> he stashes them away but I, I've run out of something nice and warm. I'm bored with tea and coffee so I thought I'd cosy up with you guys for a bit. Um, everybody's been doing a f February reviews or, you know, going over things. I know my glasses are glaring, but if I don't have them on, I can't see. So, um, like I say, it's really wet and horrible outside. The squirrels are nicking the bird food. I've run out of nuts for the squirrels, and now they're nicking the bird food. I said to Cooper, go out there on squirrel patrol, and he basically said, sod off. So, um... I have to run out there like some mad woman chasing them away. I don't want to chase them away. I love the squirrels. I put food out for them, but I've run out of nuts. And it, I just think it's cheeky where they're doing acrobatics all over the bird feeder, dangling from their back legs, swinging towards the bird feeder, two or three of them at a time. But if that wasn't bad enough, I, got, I, I chose a different um, food online food shop. Uh, this week um, and for all, for all intents and purposes I'm very very pleased with it but I ordered a wonky veg box Want, always want to choose um, the veg that, that you know perhaps nobody wants I grow my own stuff when I can and, and so that's fine happy to support local farmers but when they sent me onions that size I am not happy. That's not a bloody onion, that's a shallot. I can grow bigger onions than that. So they will be getting words from me because I have seven of these to last me a week. <laughs> I mean, I can only assume, and I don't mean this derogatory to teenagers generally, but I can, I hope it was a teenager that thought to put an onion this size in my box and not a grown woman who should know better because that is just taking, yeah, that's just taking the mick out for me. I wasn't impressed. So words will be said. And at my age, I am in grumpy woman syndrome and it, it, it yeah, that, that to me requires words anyway moving swiftly on let's get down to some book reviews first of all <laughs> i finished it Woohoo! can you believe it the mist of avalon oh this book it is a big book i i mean i i know i'm a slow reader but flipping heck you know th this is a big book this this challenges lord of the rings in my opinion however i stuck with it i'm a man i actually did i stuck with it and what i found was that that it was um it's a slow it's a slow plod really um it does climax it, it, towards the end but interestingly for me i i found that i would be picking it up of an evening when i went to bed and it would be sort of almost like that routine where i'd be reading a few pages just before i went to bed so I really, really enjoyed it in the end for all that it was a very long read. I know I might get a few boos and hisses here, but I absolutely did not like Guinevere at all. Um, the woman just, I wanted to slap her. I loved Morgane in this, that, and the book is obviously about her predominantly um it's a the characters are really good and it is a good read and i will go on to read the rest of the series that she wrote um but 
I, I couldn't face another book straight away even though you know when you finish a book and you kind of do you you've got used to that author you've got used to that way of, of, of uh, reading but I, I got sidetracked because Kelly at the Truth and Story was talking about a deck and she had paired it with a book and I love it when she does that and I I'm I've picked up a few books actually from her recommendation and this was the book that she had paired up that's got plenty of glare the song in the silence by Elizabeth Kerner which she paired with the Celtic dragon and I loved this book I couldn't put it down it it it's not heavy like this book it is easy reading I really zoomed through it for, for me and I absolutely loved it this is also a series I will continue to um, collect the rest of them and I will carry on with that series as well um, I have just bought and I haven't got it in front of me it's in the other room by the bed the um, Outlander series a few people have mentioned it to me and I really want to watch the series that that, that I think it it's not on Netflix I can't find it at the moment but I think there's two series of Outlander which I want to watch and I but I, I want to watch it from the beginning so um, and I can't find it at the moment on there and I think it's quite good that I can read the books first so I'm going to start and I have started and I'm enjoying it so far the other book that I'm reading at the same sort of time is this book which is the woman who women who run with wolves and I really have only just started this. It's a little bit heavy in the beginning, um, quite deep. I think maybe deep is the right word for that. But I'm really keen. I know a lot of people really rate this book very highly. Um, so I am working on, um, on I, I have started reading this book. Um, and I am still reading through um, the Nigel G. Pearson's Walking the Tides. Um, but this this was never meant to be for me a read that I was going to do um, in one hit because it is all in months. So we're we're now on. I just I think I've just got to finish February. There's a lovely little bit. I lo this this is a book that I I can't rate this highly enough. Um, it, it's just it's just n lovely and this bit that I've just got to is about um, putting together uh, herbs and essential oils for spring cleaning a bit like um, Kate from the Eight of Swords was doing it's like comes under the bit for hearth and home and I just I love it it's full of practical really good things that you can do and then as you can see we we get on to March um, so I'll start reading March through the month of March as I'm reading February was reading through the, the, the month of February it's it's a beautiful book um, I don't he does obviously it, it is pagan related but I think what's nice is that it it's just um, what works for you in that area and this is just you know so I, I love this book and I, I love him as an author because I find him very easy to read i'm still reading wicker now this was the book that kate from the eight of swords escape from the eight of swords sorry um sent me because she had a duplicate i'm, I'm still reading it again i absolutely love it <laughs> a taste of provence <laughs> it's my bookmark um, I'm on to rituals and preparation so, uh, for rituals. I love that book. I think it's lovely. I love the feel of it. I'm so grateful to her for, for considering me and sending it to me. I, I just, I love it. And on the back of her, I bought the series of Llewellyn books on the Sabbaths. And I'm reading in bulk. Um, I've got quite a bit more to read, but I think I've got a few weeks yet so and I, it, yeah it's a lovely little book um, nice to have them I love the image on the front and um, because because it's all to do with you know nature I can read one at a time I don't have to read them all straight away so that's my books um, for the 
uh, what I've read and what I've what I'm hoping to, to carry on reading. Um, I've had shown some of this on Instagram. Yeah, I'm doing okay with Instagram. I'm not completely savvy with it, but I made, I think I showed you, I made this, this was my first ever bag. And it's got a little bit for a book and I, I've switched uh, decks in here, but um, I was very lucky to get, um, the Anna Kay from Anna Kay. Um, I, I, I cannot remember, guys, if I've shown this. I love this deck. I love the fact that it was borderless and I did edge it in a, I don't know if you can see that really, it's sort of like um, antique bronze. Um, I haven't worked very much with these, this deck because I was sidetracked by other decks but this is a really lovely deck and I, I'm trying to get away from the glare um, I know you can get it on Amazon but I wanted to try and get it from uh, herself and it was beautifully wrapped it came it, the box isn't really very I ideal in my opinion for keeping, um, I don't know what the Amazon one's like. I'm getting glare back. Hold on a sec, guys. Where's the box? I had it. No, I can't find it. No, it's only on somewhere. But it's not a great box for keeping a deck in, which I thought was a bit strange. Look, look at me. I'm still. You, I, I do. Pra I have practiced how to do this without glare. I'm getting nowhere. Um, but so I, I put it straight into a bag and the only worry the only problem with the bag is that if the decks are out in their own boxes I go oh I haven't used that one for a while oh I must get that one out if they're in bags I kind of might neglect them a little bit but the images in in this deck and the way it read for me to start with was a deck that I knew instinctively I, I just I, I will be using more. I'm just trying to really get through making sure I do use my decks um, and uh, I'm not going to show all of that deck um, because if I when I do work with it properly hopefully I will do a review but I swapped my I think I had the um, Arthurian Tarot, and that's the little book that comes with it. It's nothing. Um, and that fitted in there, so I was able to swap that over. But that left me without a bag for the Arthurian Tarot. So I then had to create another one, and I've been practicing because I wanted to to um, to perfect this style of tarot bag. So this was the one that I made. I'm pretty. I'm hoping the Arthurian tarot is in here. So this one I, because it's a work in progress and I'm still learning the technique of how to do it. Some of them have got Velcro. Some of them have got zip. Some of them have got buttons. This one's got a button. Um, so this is my uh, this is my bag for the Arthurian tarot, and the book is in here. So I've got a little little bit of room for oops for the book. Where it is, and room for a pen, which I haven't got a pen in there at the moment, but there's room in there for a pen. And then I managed to get a zip. I'm I'm not the best with zips. I sent Patsy from Two Past Tarot, my very first ever tarot deck bag with a a, a zip. I, I, I had to apologise because I'm pretty sure it wasn't right, but I like zips, and I'm getting there. But I just yeah. I haven't quite made it yet and that is the Arthurian tarot and it, it just fits in there but I really liked the material for this you know I haven't at the moment really spent any money on buying material purposely for, for decks because one um, it's very time consuming to go on there looking for material I don't have time at the moment oops um, and also it's quite costly blah 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 but anyway I'm really pleased with that I think it works 
So you've got your the bit at the bottom with the zip, then you've got the pen, then you've got the book, and it all folds over nicely, and um, it works for me. I like it. It yeah, it's sort of maybe too big for a handbag or something, but then it just depends what decks you're taking out and what you're doing. So those two are um, they're finished. Oop, just put them down there. I'm making this. This was an old scarf that my mother-in-law gave me. I don't wear leopard skinny sort of things. So, and I wanted something. I, I kind of felt it worked for the Egyptian tarot. Ancient Egyptian tarot. Now, I haven't got onto my Egyptian decks yet. I, I, I think I'm going to... Uh, take myself off to different parts of the world through my tarot decks I shall be doing maybe even do a series on postcards from and Egypt would definitely be one of them so um, I really want to lock the borders off of this deck but this is this is um, at the moment an out of print deck and you can see that I haven't actually finished this I've got to to sew this round and I've got to get some more to to put around the top so it's not finished um, and a couple of people have said would I show how I make my bags and I will show how I make the other bag but um, I'm a really messy sewer um, I think I'm quite messy with a lot of things actually but I am quite a messy sewer so to have to to do it and to line it all up and, and make sure everything's straight and neat and tidy um, it's not always great but anyway I'll give it a go so I did a, another deck mod now this was a deck that I got moving swiftly on but talking about bags as well actually I'm all over the place today. <laughs> I haven't done a video for a while and I think I'm actually out of practice um, the Chinese tarot deck oh boy do I love this deck now I saw this on Instagram um, and I, I loved it and my husband got it for me but um when the lady sent it she so kindly put a little bracelet in with it which i thought was really really sweet now the bag the box was a little bit damaged even though the cards were sealed inside and that really didn't bother me because in some ways i kind of felt it it looked more old i, I just it didn't bother me the borders however on this deck did bother me and I can't show you one that's got borders because I've locked them all off they had a white border round the back that's the back and so I locked them all off and I am delighted with the result I've given them a red and gold bronze you can't really see it again it's not not really showing up but I did them in red and gold um, and this is a deck that, and I made a bag for it. This was just a little bag because there's just a little deck, but it, it's just pouchy one that has a little ribbon around it with some Chinese material. Let's see if I can do this without glare. This is a beautiful deck. Um, oh, I can hold them straight. I just can't I've been using them to do a uh, Instagram challenge because I that was something that I found I found um, lots of new channels to watch and one of the ones that I've been binge watching is Temperance Tarot Tracy from Temperance Tarot look at that I'm loving that now um, lovely lady lovely channel if you haven't watched hers please go and and watch it because she's she's really good she's really good with her reviews um and she summed it up actually in a conversation i was having with her but one of the things that sometimes it's a bit frustrating is if you get um a uh re all the reviews are good about a deck yeah they, the, the deck might be wonderful but sometimes you've got to have a little bit of balance in there it might not always be perfect in everything um, and I always find that her reviews really refreshing and uh, uh, because she she does them once she's worked with them so um, this is just a beautiful deck I just love it and I loved it even uh, more so 
when I lopped off the borders. There's a, there's, I'm trying to do it this way because I'm bending over myself to try and show these images. Um, it's just, just uh, it's just great fun. I, I, I do like Oriental. Um, I mean, I've, <laughs> I've said I love Egyptian. I love Native American. I love the Chinese Oriental. I love. You, there's not much I don't love. Um, I'm not really giving it the best of. Look at that for a wheel of fortune. Um, and it's quite a nice size now. And staves are wands. Um, why is my co coordination so rubbish? You just, you can't, oh, you just, you don't want to, it doesn't look like it's focusing very well. Not sure, getting the best of this, that's a brilliant chariot card. <clears throat> I think I'm shadowing it, aren't I? Oh, guys, why am I so rubbish at this? <clears throat> There's quite a lot of movement in the swords. Um, you get that sort of wind feeling around them. <laughs> this, I think we probably passed it. There's one. In, I think it, it, it might even be the High Priestess. looks like a man. And the only way I know it's not a man is because it doesn't have a beard. And we're not going to go on to that. Oh, I love this. <laughs> Again, I don't like aggressive strength cards normally. And to me, it looks like he's about to whack this poor tiger. But I kind of, with that one, I kind of see it as you're battling your inner um, weakness, your, your inner fears um the, the, yeah i mean i think it just depends on the deck how it comes across and uh, i could live with that one didn't like that card particularly they're all having a good con flab there it's his little face I don't think it's coming out very clearly, but he's just got his look up on his face. It's just so cute. Oh, she's just so beautiful. The universe. I don't quite know how I've ended up with them upside down. But there's one card in here. I thought maybe we might just get to it so I can just look as Confucius. <laughs> oh, I love that card. That that was my February card, the Two of Swords, and I just love that depiction of the Two of Swords. The Emperor. Totally fitting. Oh no! Hold on. I was doing well till then. Um, this is one card I would say, sorry, just not knocking everything. For me, as a star card, I don't get that. I like a beautiful woman in the star card. and That was about the only one I would have said. Oh, this is it. Spot the deliberate mistake. <laughs> Can you see it? This is the four of swords. Swords. Swords? Swords. Swords. It would be the pronunciation, not swords, not states. <laughs> it's a big, can you see that at the bottom? That's not wanting to um, focus. Oh, that's hilarious. 
I just and that really does not bother me at all look at this lovely old couple look oh that's Keith and I look, it just doesn't want to focus oh look sweet if we get that old it'll be a flipping miracle <clears throat> lovely hang man card the hanging ghost really is just a beautiful deck heavenly master the hierophant the devil um so so yeah borders came off edged it made a bag for it i still like the box but it was just one that I can see me throwing in my bag, actually. It's just that good of... Oh, I love that. See what I mean about there's a lot of movement in the swords, which is what you want. You want to see movement, I think, in the swords. I know it's intellect, but it, it's still air, and it's, it's still, yeah. But it just works for me. And I am very much of the mind where... I follow, if I'm using a deck that is not Rider weight based or not Marseille, I follow it as much as I can to the theme that is in its creation. Otherwise, I, I don't quite see the point. I, I understand why you wouldn't, wow, look at that for a hermit. Is it even focusing properly? Um, because the thing for me is, and I got that two days on the trot. Weird. Anyway, the thing for me is, if it's if it's um, Kabbalah, that's a bit different because you know, like with the Guild Tarot, most people are reading it like a ride right away. I can understand that, um, but that that is one hell of a complicated system. But for example, I picked up the. Um, chrysalis tarot um I, i've had it for nearly as long as i've since i started this was one of my earlier decks and i kind of just put it on the back burner because i thought it's a it's a system of its own i got i got a bag from some cheap pound shop and it's perfect for it and i was lucky enough to get the book that came with the actual with the deck um and i'd been leaving it and leaving it because i thought it, it is kind of its own system and I was really, really new, so I didn't want to um, start using it until I felt that I could actually give it the time. And it hasn't disappointed. I know it's a deck that not everybody likes, but it's a deck that I'm, I am really enjoying it. The, the Little White Book is actually far more useful for divinatory meanings than the, the big book. So if I had had to buy the other book and thinking I was going to get more um, what's the right word it's it, the, the, the little the, the book is lovely it it what it does what I like about this is that it it gives you um, it gives you the artists notes on it and then you get a bit about how that relates in in the tarot with this connection and the artwork which is fine but it doesn't necessarily give you the box standard meanings if that's what you needed i think you would struggle with this a bit more i could be wrong it could just be the way i read it but i find if i wanted just a quick what does this mean um I would refer to this little book rather than the big one but if hopefully I will carry on working with it and I will get to know more about I don't know if I've shown those but anyway more about the um, the process behind it of course there would be I mean look at Gaia and I've seen some people have taken the borders off if I got a second copy of this, I would definitely take the borders off, but I'm not taking the borders off of this copy. And I, it, the borders don't worry me. Um, and it's a beautiful deck. So um, that's what I'm working with at the moment. So the uh, Chinese 
tarot is I'm using for Instagram and um, bits. So I'm trying to use more of my decks and watching Temperance Tarot and seeing that she was using decks for different things I thought oh yeah I could try that so not just doing spreads I thought you know maybe I could use different decks for spreads but sometimes you just want a quick spread and that that works really well so that's great so then we went to the crystal rock and gem festival and I picked up some wonderful bits the first thing I picked up was a really beautiful piece of is it going to show it quartz I mean I'm not under any illusion even in these places where you can pick some stuff up a bit cheaper it's still mightily expensive and I didn't pay I, I can't afford to pay huge amounts of money for um, but I hadn't got a really big piece of quartz that I could have on my reading table I didn't manage to get a piece of tourmaline which I wanted to go with it but um, I did get that now I also got the Shivalingra. Now there was a stall there. Now I, I'm kind of, I think I'm a bit disappointing really. I should have taken some more photos. I should have taken pictures of the big, the stalls, and maybe done a bit of vlogging. But one, I felt a bit awkward to do that because I didn't want somebody coming up to me and prodding me and going, "Why are you videoing me?" Um, and I got sort of sidetracked. It is. It was a. It's a huge area. It was at Kempton Park Race Course. So anyone in in Britain who can get there might want to give it a go. And they're just stores and stores of crystals and beads and rocks and fossils and all sorts of stuff. And it, it's lovely. Um, but again, it's not necessarily cheap. Um, there was this one store there, and I could kick myself. I should have. Um, taken her details and, and put her up but it was a, a an Indian couple and they had the most inexpensive pieces of this Shivalingra you, you cannot imagine, they had all sizes I got a little one for my, my handbag so that was £2 and in other on other stalls that would have been eight pound um i dread to think how much i would have paid for this this was i think this was eight pound and there were some huge pieces there and we kind of kicked ourselves but we didn't buy a few more um but it's it's a lovely uh obviously I didn't I don't know much about crystals or gems I didn't know much about this Simon sort of introduced it to me when we were in Glastonbury and of course they're all the, the shape is made by the river um, and the water which I find fascinating absolutely fascinating um, and I'm delighted to have it I took a picture of the information sheet but I, I struggle to retain some of this I also picked up this lovely piece of, I don't know what it is, coral, no it's not coral is it? Oh I don't know what it is. Um, you get a bit overwhelmed, we were going to go round and just see all the stalls first and then go back and buy a few pieces but you just get sidetracked and it's exhausting because there's so much. I managed to pick up and I don't know if I can do it justice I've got some pictures to put on Instagram of this it is um, obviously fluorite or at least that's what I understood it to be I think it is now you can't see it so well here in this light but when the sun hits the top it, it is not as opaque as that and it is beautiful and I got it a little bit cheaper because the top had been dented and I don't mind rescuing crystals and this was about the biggest piece of uh, smoky quartz I could afford. Um, but I love it. It's a beautiful piece and I'm delighted to have it in my collection. Now I also bought, and this was one exciting bit, not the singing bowl. i uh, take them out. But these are little tourmaline. Whoa, no, I can't afford to lose them. These are little tourmaline shards. Let's try and show you a few. 
can you see them? And they sing. They're slightly different from normal tourmaline, according to the chappy. Oh, you can hear, they sing. I've got to pick those up. Hold on a sec, guys. They make this kind of, what is wrong with me today? This kind of singing, it sings even more in the bowl, in the singing bowl, obviously, but I don't know if you can hear it. You get this little tinkling sound. Trust me, you get this little tinkling. And I just loved it. And I would have bought more, but they weren't cheap. So that's my little bit, and I hope maybe I'll go back and I'll get some more. Um, and then the last piece that I picked up, I'm going to have to look this one up because I can't remember it. So I wrote up about this because when I got home, what I realised was he hadn't written on it what it was, and I couldn't remember. So luckily enough, I had paid enough attention that I managed to, uh, to find it on the internet. And I don't know if you can see it, but it's got a, like... Um, it's triastalic, it's from the Andalusian region and with the carbon graphite inclusion and it's a healing stone um, and I've written down about it so I'm really pleased I got that. So that was my crystal collection half of which is probably on the floor um, and I think that's pretty much it guys. I've also picked up this month the dragon tattoo tattoo and <laughs> dragon tarot this is the deluxe larger version which i'm going to open and have a look at later and maybe do a walkthrough of that or or something um but i think i've covered everything i wanted to speak about today um i suppose the only thing i would just sort of say was that i you know when i came away with my beautiful rocks and my crystals um it's hard because part of me would have loved to have been able to get more but then the other part of me and again boos and hisses aside when i looked at this i thought do you know what this has been broken and and dug out the ground and i love crystals i love the fact that they've got all this wonderful energy but are we ethically doing the right thing by buying things that are being dug out of the ground? Um, are we, is this good for, you know, our planet if we're carving it up um, into shards and bits and pieces? Um, am I being a hypocrite because I'm, I wanted this beautiful, sparkling, amazing bit of quartz, but Am I doing harm to the planet in, in having having them? Um, you know, I don't I don't know. I think I'm a bit of a hypocrite because I think, you know, I can see how much I love to have them, but I do worry that we are, um, you know, I, I know some some of them are, say they are ethically resourced but what does that really mean when you're still taking great big chunks of the planet um, apart to get them I don't know um, that's kind of just a thought I was having overnight um, and I think that's pretty much it for me I will hopefully uh, uh, be back with a few reviews and if you've managed to stay with my ridiculously long waffling today, um, thank you for watching and thank you for bearing with. And I will be back, I hope, with a few more reviews. My, oh, and yes, I should give a very quick shout out to my wonderful husband, who now has his own channel, The Search for Sound. I nearly forgot to mention. Simon did a wonderful shout out for him, bless him, the other day. He's doing singing bowls. They're, they're, those are his singing bowls. He's doing um, his Ravvas and his um, 
or whatever it is, dustbin lid drum thing, I don't know what they're called, and uh, Jemby's, and um, he's loving it, he's absolutely loving it, and thank you for those of you who have kindly subscribed. Um, I think he's got, you know, lot, lots to, of information to share, and uh, if you haven't already checked him out, go and check him out, the search for sound. And uh, thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a wonderful March. Take care. Bye-bye.